Are we good? Hello, everybody! What is happening, y'all? It's Big Yuck Holmes here. Welcome to another live stream. Uh, good to have everybody here today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I uh, hope everybody is good today. Hello, Honey Bear. Thank you so much for monitoring the stream. Hello, Osiris. Uh, thank you for monitoring uh, that two part of the King Kong counter confrontation episode. Is absolutely fun to watch, and while I prefer to see it in video, it's good to see it nonetheless. Thank you so much. Um, hi, Star Master. Hi, Honey Bear. Good to see you. Uh, not much, uh, Toku Punk. Good to see you. Uh, what advice uh, for someone? What can you give somebody advice for camera shy? Film on your own, and then once you get used to it, if you're comfortable with it, work with other people. Uh, hi, um, Zane. Good to see you. So. Uh, just to give you guys a bit of a heads up on today's stream, yes, today is an editing stream. Uh, that is going to be the plan today. Uh, you're going to see me edit a fourth episode, which I should point out, episode four is going to be delayed. There's going to be delays going forward on a few episodes, mainly because I ran out of time for deadlines and um, also because Comic-Con. So I am extremely exhausted. <laughs> Uh, so I'm taking some time to really chillax and not work too hard, but get enough to put content out there for you guys. So in this case today, we're doing a live stream and doing that. But uh, might as well show off some things I got from uh, Comic-Con uh, that my honey bear Nikita uh, graciously got me. Really appreciate it. Uh, first and foremost, <laughs> I love these things. Are these two Inuyasha figures of Inuyasha and Kagome, which are fantastic figurines. They were really cute uh, when I got them. And then the coolest thing was this lovely music box uh, that she got me uh, from Inuyasha, uh, which, by the way, I'm going to start writing the fourth movie review at some point. But as you can see, let me try to crank this up here. You can hear that. It's just absolutely beautiful. Like, I love this shit. Plays one of the music by uh, Carl Wanda, which is absolutely amazing. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. But the one thing she did get me... Now, we saw this at a booth. We can't remember which one. But there was a booth selling these 3D printed figures. Now... Y'all remember those wooden toy snakes that you might have gotten from the dollar store or something? So somebody made one of these, and we're going to use this in maybe a future video. It's a 3D printed snake kind of figure of Falcor from the never-ending story. I, we saw these. They were like 20 bucks a piece, and we freaking love these. So... These were some little things we got at Comic Con. Really beautiful, really nice. Um, if you guys had saw, uh, if you guys go check out my Instagram, I have been posting pictures and so on from the event. You can check them out there. But it was a great time seeing a bunch of friends again. A wonderful experience. Uh, really good to hang out with uh, Nikita and stuff. It was great. So definitely 
Uh, do check that out on Instagram. Hello, Lightpost Films. Good to see you. Uh, my dream writing that nightmare. Exactly. Um, I have watched uh, the first one, uh, James. Uh, it is from the first one. But anyway, yeah, today is a editing day. We're going to edit the fourth episode or get started on it. So let me uh, get that going. And we'll go to, uh, let's see, uh, Pinnacle Studios. We're going to go to editing, allow. And here we are. Uh, we are basically editing uh, the Peter Jackson episode today. I'm actually going to put me in a different position. There we go. So you guys can see the full screen. Uh, and we're just editing essentially uh, this episode, which as you can see is a little shorter uh, than before at about um, 23 minutes which stuff might be added and so on, but we're going to get started here. So I am adding stuff from uh, different Jackson movies. Uh, please forgive that terrible image of that cat, cat vomiting. Uh, this is basically some of Jackson's early work from uh, Bad Taste, uh, Meet the Feebles, the F and uh, uh, Brain Dead, which we're also going to edit here. So let me just uh, get that going. That's just creepy. That's some Five Nights at Freddy shit right there. I'm also going to bring the screen out so you can see it more and see what the hell we're editing today. So let's get started. If you guys have any questions, I have the chat below, and I will answer them. I'm excited, absolutely. It's going to be a great stream today, actually, guys. Uh, really looking forward to talking to you about some of the stuff we're doing today. Uh, so let's see here. Um, can't wait for the Jackson video. Yep, me too. Like, we're working on it. We're working on it uh, right now. So let's get started. Who are the people in Hollywood you think stop working on business? Michael Bay, Owen Wilson. Yeah, a couple of those. Anyway, so let's see. Bad Taste, Meet the Feebles, and my favorite song. All right, so now we're going to go in, and uh, this is where it gets tricky, because we want to make sure we don't show anything too graphic, because Brain Dead I'll admit, is one of the goriest films ever. So we're just going to keep that in mind while we edit this episode. So let's just find um, something here that's worth uh, using. Let me go to actually, let's see here. What's, um, again, I got to be very careful what I show here because some of this imagery is absolutely disgusting. Let's see. How about this? Uh, maybe that one. Uh, maybe, let's see, what's this one? That's just panic, I think? Let's see here. Let's see how this looks. No, that's just a fight with a fat man, so there's that. Let me find a, oh, this one might do. Oh, this, oh yeah, this is some good images to use. Okay, we're going to use this stuff. This is, this is a really good one. I like this one. Okay. Um, brain dead parties over. Oh, I'm going to show that clip, Star Master. Favorite thing to learn in school? Uh, probably computer stuff is probably my favorite thing to learn. Oh, yeah, this stuff will do. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, that, the, <laughs> the flying baby. That's funny. Let's see here. Oh, that, let's see. I'm just trying to use the most tame clips for a sec just to give you guys an idea. I actually really love Brain Dead. It's probably my favorite zombie movie. Um, let's see here zombie movie brain dead which i swear there we go okay so some of this image i can't really show so i have to be very cautious let's see here okay that that one's okay that one, that image is okay there we go that that'll do i guess again some of these i have to be very careful given the graphic nature of these clips let's see yeah, like Brain Dead's a great movie. Let's see here. No, that one might be too graphic. Let's see here. Oh, uh, this one. Nah, gotta find again. Gotta be very cautious about the graphic violence here. Let's see. Uh, maybe not that one. Uh, this one maybe. Okay, that one's funny. That one's funny. Don't pick your nose, kids. Come on. I like that one. That one's good. That one will do. Oh, yeah, you're going to... Oh, Honey Bear, you would love this movie. I love Brain Dead. This is like early Peter Jackson. It's amazing. Here here we go. Let's see. Brain Dead, which I swear 
which I swear to God is George Romero's adaptation of an itchy and scratchy cartoon. This is where I have to, like, put in. I'm going to put in the parties over bit. Hang on. This, of course, led him. Okay, so now I want to find that parties over clip because that clip is messed up. As you can see, again, I can't show too much due to graphic nature. Um, so let's keep it on that. Let's say, what books have you been reading lately? Mostly all my Kong books, which I have uh, on standby as I do my research on uh, videos. So that's really it. Let's see here. Again, so I like this, like, it's like blood. It's like, whoop, 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 like, he's, like, slipping on the blood. I don't know why. That's really funny. Um, let's see here. Oh, I should remind myself to put in the itchy and scratchy show theme. I don't know why I should. That'd be really funny. Um, let's see. There's one image here I really want to use, and that's of the, uh, the lawnmower shield which is, like, really messed up, if I can find it. It is a very graphic film. What do you think is the best King Kong fan film you've ever seen? Next to... I mean, like, if we're kind of... I have to look at the qualities that are kind of next to mine. I would probably say... God, stuff. I've always been a fan of uh, uh, Eric Kessler's Skull Island, as well as the Nessie Film Productions of Skull Island. Those are probably my favorites out of the bunch. Um, personally, just for me, because those are, those are the best ones. Let's see here. I'm just, again, I'm just trying to find that image of the chainsaw. Or it's not the chainsaw, it's just the, um, the lawnmower, if I can find it. There's a lot of graphic material in this. Again, I'm just flashing by it rather quickly. Do you think the Blunt Brothers productions, um, I don't know who those are. What 2005 figures do you recommend? I'd recommend the one of Kong ripping the jaw uh, with the with the T-Rex. That's a good set of figures to have. What happened in 2016? Kong had a fight with Godzilla. You mean when he's 100 feet? Or my Kong? I mean, my Kong would probably get his ass kicked, to be honest. I'm just going to be upfront about that. Let's see here. Here it is. Here's the scene. Here's the scene I want to use. This is literally out of a, um, this is literally this scene right here out of a, um, out of a itchy and scratchy cartoon. Like it's such a really messed up scene, but I love it. Hang on, let me just bring this up a little bit so you can hear it. There we go. Tune. Party's over. <laughs> I love I, I love that he uses the lawnmower to cut people up. It's it's amazing, it's absolutely amazing. So again, I just gotta be cautious here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I, I think I can show at least to there, maybe just as much as I possibly can. Again, I just don't want to get flagged because oh my god, this is messed up. Uh, let's see here. Um, again, just want to make sure that maybe let's check that this one. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. This is actually the most messed up gory, uh, zombie film I've ever seen. If you want a good early Jackson movie, there you go. Uh, here we go. See how that, that edits pretty nicely. There we go. There we go. That that works. I'll add the itchy and scratchy theme in later. I thought about making an edited compilation of every joke Jack references AVG and Nostalgia Creek end up in Richie from It saying, come on up with new material champ. <laughs> That'd be funny, actually, Osiris. That'd be really funny. All right. Let's see here. Where's that? This, of course, led him to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Okay, so this is where we have to add clips from the Lord of the Rings. Now, in doing so, I have to go to uh, my files here. Just give me a sec. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's go to that. Let's go here. Take the clips. I got to get Lord of the Rings. So this is where I got to go into my archives, uh, my video archives. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I go to uh, my fantasy section of trailers. Go to the Lord of the Rings. Um... 
let's see here. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings. I need, I need a uh, anniversary supercut. Hang on, let me check this one. Oh, oh this will do. That would do. That would do just fine. I'm also going to use uh, the super trail. I'm going to add that in just in case I need it. Okay. Those will do just fine. Now, now we got that part with brain dead. I'm going to keep that one open. But we're going to go to uh, these two Lord of the Rings trailers I have handy. Uh, I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the anniversary super cut. Currently beginning Ghostbusters films this week. Preparation for Frozen Empire. Watching Ghostbusters 2. Nice! Nice! Skip 2016. Ain't worth it, man. I use uh, Pinnacle. Yes, I use Pinnacle... Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Pinnacle Studios uh, 25, actually, is what I am currently using. Uh, that is my current uh, use. So let's use this one. Or, you know what? Let's use this one because this one's not too bad. Let's uh, let's put this together. Let's let that. Uh, this is gonna uh, basically um, enhance it where it's gonna actually detect the scenes and make the shots easier to edit. So, gotta open up a can. But hope everybody's been good this weekend. It was a good March break. Good St. Patrick's Day. Hope everybody's been fine and dandy. Okay. Let's see here. Now that I think about it, I should read World of Kong book again to prepare for the next episode. Yeah, you should. It's not a bad idea to read, catch up on those or read the novel. Um, have you heard Scarlett Johansson's going to be a Jurassic World 4, a.k.a. Jurassic Park 7? Yes, I have. Um, it's interesting how quick they're going with that production, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens. Uh... So there we go. All right, let's get started on some of these uh, bits I can use. So I'm going to go towards um, using footage here, maybe. Oh, that'll that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. That's pretty good. Okay, so this is where we're going to add clips from the Lord of the Rings. So we're going to do that with the ring. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to use mostly stuff from Lord, from Fellowship. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, that, that'll do. We'll, we'll, this will do. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that, that'll do. This will this will do. Let's see. Okay, that works. Lord of the Rings is awesome. I don't care what anybody says. Lord of the Rings. I love how we went from this to this. In a matter of a few years. How crazy is that? Let's see. This, of course, led him to the Lord of the Rings trilogy and eventually his own remake of King. There we go. So now, let's see. The and there. I'm going to go there. Uh, that'll do okay. I don't want to just... Okay, hang on. Let me just actually edit this because I don't want it to just be the Legolas show. Let me get a bit more condensed. Uh, let's go with... Uh, let's put some Frodo in there, I think. Frodo should do. We, we need some Frodo in, in this shit. Uh, if I can find a good shot of Frodo anywhere. Let's see, let's try this one. That, that, that'll do. That'll do. A little shot of Frodo. Doesn't hurt. Just the magic of editing. It's pretty easy when you get it down. There we go. Of course, led him to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. There we go. Let's go there. Lord of the Rings trilogy. There we go. So we're going to go there. If you, if you want him, come and claim him. All right. So now... We're going to go and take the Kong trailer, which, may, again, makes things a tad easier. Uh, let's go. I have the trailer handy. So we're going to go here. Whoa, that's a lot of previews. Oh, that's a big preview thing right there. There we go. 
Peter Jackson movies before Lord of the Rings were insane. They really were. Really loved your Ready Player One, say Tamaz Locomotive Studios. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you watching that. That was really, uh, actually ended up, came out pretty damn good. All things considered. Also, just a little note, guys, uh, question-wise. Um, please uh, refrain from answering the same question over and over again. Uh, super chats are welcome, as Honey Bear has said. Uh... Obviously, uh, questions about the show are great. We can answer those about, like, storylines and stuff and, what, and uh, what's happening. But, yeah, all that is welcome. Anyway, so now we have King Kong. Let's see what we can use here for sequences, for bits in the, in the edit. Let's see. Let's go with, I like this shot in the movie. There we go. Here we go. And eventually, his own remake of King Kong... For which the props from that movie are another line of pieces only thought to exist only in the Okay, so this is where... Let's see here. Um... Let's see. I'm going to get some shots here that are really good. There we go. For which the props from that movie are another line of pieces only thought to... Let's see. Here we go. Let's try this. There we go. Also, something... I don't know if you guys ever noticed this about the second trailer for the Jackson remake. Anybody else ever notice this? That they actually play the Batman Begins theme in the second trailer? Let me see if I can pull this shit up. It's quite fascinating, actually, that they kind of used the um, the Batman Begins music for it, which I think is interesting. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but let me just quickly pull up this trailer. You can literally hear the Batman Begins theme right about... You can hear it right here. Ready? This is, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but um, check this out. They are literally playing the Batman Begins theme. I And it's ironic because James Newton Howard and Hans Zimmer did the score to Batman Begins literally that summer. And then James Newton Howard does the score to King Kong. I think that's actually kind of fascinating that they used uh, Batman Begins uh, is, is really cool. So there you go. Uh, yeah, it's funny. Ethan brought that up. It's specifically the music when uh, Bruce destroys uh, the castle of the League of Shadows and saves uh, Ducard, uh, Liam Neeson's character, from being destroyed. Which I do like that. I, You know, I watched Batman Begins, um, I think a tad bit ago. Still holds up. Like, you know, it's almost 20 years old, but still a great reboot. So there's that. All right, so there's... um. Let's see here. How's this look? Line of pieces only thought to exist. All right. So now we're going to go back to that trailer. I just think that's kind of fascinating that they use. No, you're not late, Matt. We're just editing today. Very much an editing day. Let's see here. I want to use... Uh, let's see here. That'd be a good shot. Ooh, okay, you know what? I kind of like this. Here we go. We're going to go here. We're going to go here. Use this shot. In the trailer. It's great to always use shots in the trailer. That actually does help immensely when you're editing. So there we go. We are another line of pieces only thought to exist only in myth until now. Whoa, slow down. I like using that. I use using clips, too, from the movie to kind of describe what I'm talking about, too. That's always a good thing to have. Let's see here. Slow down. Okay, well, first and foremost, there's a bit of an elephant in the room I've been needing to discuss that has been bugging me for quite a while. Back in season two. Okay, so one thing I do have to do at some point, I can't really right now because I don't have the episode uh, handy, I don't think. At the check, but 
I have to at some point add uh, some stuff here as well. So let me just see. Elephant in the room. What could be a good clip for that? You know what? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to... Let's see. Let's go to the movie because I have the movie. Oh, here we go. I know what to do. I know what to do here. Okay, well, first and foremost, there's a bit of an elephant in the room. Thankfully, there's a shot of elephants in the movie. So there we go. Bit of an elephant in the room I've been needing to discuss. There we go. Elephant in the room. Get it? Get it? <laughs> there we go. Um... Yeah, I, I like that. That's a good. That's a that's a good joke. <laughs> Just gonna go here, and I'm gonna bring that down a tad to a six. There we go. Slow down. Okay. Well, first and foremost, there's a bit of an elephant in the room I've been needing to discuss that has been bugging me for quite a while. Bugging. We're gonna use bugs. I got this. I got this. I'm gonna make this funny. I'm going to make this really funny. Let's see. I need a bug shot. Here we go. Use this shot. I like this one. Bugs! There we go. Let's see. Gus, that has been bugging me for quite a while. There we go. That That'll do. That, that shot I'll do. When do you think you're going to make your next film? I mean, my episodes are sort of films to me, so that's what I'm currently working on. Let's see. Um, hey, Jack, why not use clip from Ace Ventura when Ancient Calls seeing where the elephant breaks into the room? Shit, that's a good one. I don't know if I have the movie. Do I have the movie? That's a good idea. Let me check that. Do I have that movie? Uh, I don't know. I unfortunately do not have the movie. I'd have to look up the clip. Uh, let me actually do that. Give me a sec. Um, is there is the clip actually here? Like, can you find it on YouTube? Let's say Ace Ventura Elephant. Let's see. Um, I try to see. Um, what scene is it? Can somebody link it to me on uh, on the stream? I wonder if anybody can link it. That'd be great if somebody could find the scene. So far, the recent King Kong ride episodes are my favorite episodes of the season. Really? I mean, they were okay. I mean, I prefer the first episode so far from what I worked on, but that one's all right. In your 1996 King Kong review, you showed some images from BBC's attempt at doing a remake of King Kong. Are they fan-made or mock-ups? So what they were, were actually, we can actually look this up right now. Uh, let me go to, because um, those images are from kongisking.net. And what they are, are uh, wallpapers from 2005. I don't know if they'll even exist anymore. Let's check. See, wallpaper 2005. I don't know if they still exist though. That's the thing because they are old, old, old. Um, I might even have to check kongisking.net. You know what? Ha hold on a sec. Let's check to see if is kongisking.net even still around? Like, is it even still a, a, a like um, a website? That's that's what I want to know if it's still prominent. Oh, it, it kind of is actually. I mean, there is the one ring.net that's still prominent, but I'm just looking to see if Calling is King is still popular. I mean, there's plenty of fan art out there. But let me just see if there's any of the uh stuff from uh like the, the any of the wallpapers that still exist. Um okay, there are a few. There are a few. I see one. I'm just trying to find uh, the one specifically that I like. Um, let's see here. I'm just going to quickly uh, browse around 
Google Images. Uh, that's the. Um, let me just uh, take you guys with me. Actually, hang on a sec. Uh, let me go to here. Let me go to share screen. Uh, entire screen. Allow. Okay, so let's see here. I know it should be here in Kong is King, um, but there's uh, Google Images. In fact, can we? Let's see here. Can we go to? Let's see, kongisking.net. Let's see. Okay, it's the website. Wow, the website is still prominent. There we go. Um, so the <laughs> production diaries. That was the last one. Oh, these are megabytes. Oh my god. Um, yeah, there hasn't been anything up. Know what? There has not been anything updated since 2008. How crazy is that? This website has been dead since January 23rd, 2008. That's the last update this website got. But let's try to find uh, boards, live chat, history, contact us, info, gaming, files, teaser poster, uh, Marion Cooper, uh, latest news, uh, cast, production diaries. I wonder if they're even, are they even still, or is it just the last ones? Okay, so the production diaries are still here. That's pretty that's pretty interesting. That they're still here. Wow. That's actually really cool. Um here, wallpapers. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this um oh April 8th, 2005. Oh no. Okay, so that image you were asking about, they were from this. Um, let me see if I could go to here. Here we go. This is where they were from. These were pieces of fan uh, art from that time that were used as wallpapers for the film. This gave people an idea of what the movie was going to be about. So this is where they were from, uh, were from this part of the website, which is interesting. Uh, just to give you sort of a heads up where um, where those were. Uh, so that's there's that. There you go. There you go. Okay. So that hope that answers your question. Uh, so there's that. Let's see here. 76 was my earliest movie theater experience. Probably my second, third film I've seen. Still a personal favorite. I mean, yeah, it's, still, it's a good movie. It's a good, it's a really good film, uh, honestly. So there's that. Um, imagine if there was a crossover between King Kong and Indiana Jones called Indiana Jones and the Monster of Skull Island. That'd be cool. There you go. What are some movies I remember seeing at the drive-in? I remember seeing um, Austin Powers Goldmember, the, uh, the Hulk, uh, Charlie's Angels, all the Pirates movies, uh, some of the Marvel films, Spider-Man 3, uh, Iron Man, The Avengers, I, I saw, uh, Transformers, saw them all at that screening. But there you go. Let's get back to business here. Let's see here. Um, Quite a while. Back in season two when I covered the Peter So Jackson a little minor spoilers product, about my review. I was unnecessarily harsh to the final product. And it came off... Let's see. So this is where I got to add stuff from the film. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Um, there we go. Let's see. Here we go. I was unnecessarily. Here we go. Here we go. Of course, it's deserted. I'm trying to make this. It's weird because, like, this is before they color time the movie, which is which is interesting. Here we go. Not that. that oh almost forgot to remove that comment you got king Kong scenes yeah i got the movie and everything as well um also huge thanks to honey bear for uh keeping uh the chat monitored really appreciate it um 
Loving the recent King Kong reviews. If it wasn't for your content, I would have been a massive Kong nine I am today. Keep up the amazing and forgotten from one gentleman to another. Thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate that. Just watch your 76 film commentary. Great job. The 76 films moment. Yeah, okay. I already answered that. Thoughts on the Meg 2. Best movie of 2023. <laughs> Peter Jackson's film is definitely a love letter to Colin as a genre one up one a film poster at the opening screening. Nice. That's cool, man. Very nice. I've watched the, the Jackson version. It'd be cool if the 1996 draft was made for King Kong's 100th anniversary. That'd be cool, actually. Thoughts on the Iron Giant. Good movie. The good animated film. Anyway. Let's see to the final prompt. I want to try to get rid of that. We're going to move this up. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's weird how this scene actually never... This scene never made it. There's a couple of scenes you could tell never made it to the final cut, which is interesting. Um, I think it's kind of kind of an interesting factor there. There we go. There's a lot of stuff that never made it to the cut. I'm surprised there's not another extended version. Let's see. I'm gonna remove that. There we go. And it came off as honestly really condescending. There we go. Gonna do that. Now I'm gonna go to. Here. Again, actually what's cool about doing this review, it's actually going to give me a chance to kind of apologize to the film as well because I was very harsh on my first uh, cover of it. I heard you can get enough of... I heard you can't get enough of that sugar crisp. I can't. Imagine the Scar King and Jackson Skull Island. That'd be cool. To be honest, Godzilla Minus One is a better movie of 2023. It really was. I would love to see someone take the 96 script and make it a comic book adaptation. Maybe Boom Studios. That would be cool. It's kind of like how they did the first drafts of Star Wars as a uh, as a uh, comic. Anyway. Really condescending and confusing at my full thoughts. Which about... Let's see. Let's have that about 10 years later has changed since my opinion. Let's see. Just slightly just making little edits that are going to make it less copyright detected. Basically. Let's see. Yeah, I'll do. There we go. Later has changed since my opinions on this movie. In fact, this is the movie that... Here we go. I'm going to try to at least maybe get about four minutes in. Maybe a little more. I'll just keep going. My opinions on this movie. In fact, this is the movie that reintroduced me to the original. Alright, so this is where we got to add stuff from the original movie. So this is where I'm going to go and uh, add stuff to the original film. Which... Again, huge, uh, massive thanks to Hail to the King of King Nang Kong, the documentary by Matthew Lamont, which has really helped in uh, editing certain things in this uh, in this mo in this episode. It really helps speed up the process. Uh, let's see here. I have the production diaries handy. I have the movie handy. I have the documentary handy. Let's see. So that meant, this makes it a lot easier to edit the episode in terms of just clips. If Son of Kong actually happened, it would have been great to see Naomi Watch Jack Black and Adrian Brody. Yeah, it'd be cool, but again, that was a uh, that was sort of a in joke bit. I may be overthinking this, but are the Jurassic Park references in the third episode of the Kong reviews a possible hint for the Jurassic Park legacy reviews? 
Um, can you remind me which references those were, uh, Shark King? The one, the stuff with Bob Gurr? No, that was just a coincidence. Hi, Zilla Universe, good to see you. Uh, Jack, I think I got a link to the elephant scene to Ace Ventura. Did you link it in the chat? Because I don't see it. Uh, Toon King, if you can link it to me, that'd be great, uh, on the chat. If that's possible. I don't know if linking stuff is possible in the chat. Let's see here. In fact, this is the movie that reintroduced me to the original and where my Kong love fully bloomed. Okay, this is where I'm going to take other elements. Let's see here. I gotta go find some stuff from other movies. Which thankfully, I think I have. Here we go. Let's see here. Here we go. All right, so I got Matt's uh, documentary handy. This helps uh, cut time and editing. Let's see. Hmm. I want to find something that's not uh, the original. I want to try to find another clip from another film. Let's see what Matt's got here that I can use. I guess I'll use some stuff from King Kong versus Godzilla. That'll help a tad. Um, see this clip? Ah, the quality's not that good on that one. Um, here we go, this one. That'll do. And where my Kong love fully bloomed. Go. Bloomed. So I owe a lot of. So now we're going to go back. Back to the trailer. Thank you so much, Honey Bear, for providing a link to my Patreon, guys. Please go support. We've actually been going up, which has been really good. I'll send you a link to some of the scenes uh, through Instagram. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Um, here we go. Okay. Let's use this. Yeah, trailers, trailer stuffs always make things a lot easier to assemble in editing. So I owe a lot of thanks to this film. In hindsight, I also don't think it's a bad movie by... There we go. Actually, I'm going to save that clip. I, oh, that clip I can use, actually. That's an okay clip to use a bad movie by any means. And yeah, I really don't think it's a bad movie. Like, I know my review made it look like it was a bad movie, but it really wasn't. What a thanks to this film. In hindsight, I also don't think it's a bad movie by any means. And comparing it to the 1998 remake of Psycho in the... Okay, that's where I have to add the, uh, that's the part I really was unfair on with the comparisons. Um, there we go. And comparing it to the 1998 remake of Psycho, in my opinion. That's where I fucked up. So I gotta get the Psycho clip. Opinion was really unfair. It's clear that Jackson's love of the original King Kong in this remake was not... The original King Kong in this remake was not meant to be that at all. Forgot to add another recent King Kong video. Your King Kong reviews playlist. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna update the playlist at some point. Thoughts on airsoft guns? I don't like guns. I really don't like guns, to be honest. There we go. I did not get the link yet. Let me check that. Uh, let me check. Inst uh, well, I can't get Instagram right now, so I'll, I'll check it later. 
Let's see here. Um, in this remake was not meant to be that at all, but more of an expensive love letter to the original film entirely. That's where I can add a clip from the original. There we go. Uh, we want to add it where... Hmm. Uh... I'll find a really good shot here. There we go. That makes things a hell of a lot easier. Expensive love letter to the original film entirely. I'd say the bigger issues with it are that it... There we go. Now I gotta find that clip of... Now I think I have... Uh, stuff from Psycho Handy. Let me check my archives. No, not the Asylum. Remember when when Evan went versus the bush? That's That was funny. One of my favorite scenes was where Naomi was about to get eaten by the V-Rex and Kong lands on the ground with a big boom behind her, backs it up. That's a great scene. That is a really good scene. Thoughts on Kung Fu Panda 4? I have not seen any of the movies, Sammy, so I have no say. What do you think is the worst Gary Oldman movie? Uh, Lost in Space, hands down. Uh, let's see. Do I have this? I do have the trailer, thank goodness. There we go. What if Universal Classic Monsters were kaijus and what would they look like? I mean, Dracula would be a giant bat. Frankenstein would be like uh, Frankenstein conquers the world. The Wolfman, a giant wolf. Uh, the typical. Ever thought of an Inuyasha in Castlevania having a crossover? No, but I thought of it with the crossover with um, Rosario Vampire. That's what I want. Okay, Psycho trailer. We're going to go there. We're going to add the... We're going to use that. I really hated the remake of Psycho. That was fucking awful. Yep. Do you think Dwayne The Rock Johnson would be interested in the Machoverse? I mean, he already did a Rampage, so there's that. Um, which film director do you think would be a good a remake? You know what, actually? Because I bring this up in this review. Frank Darabont. He's actually a huge fan of the original. So that's what I would choose. Let's see here. Let me use here. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. My God. What kind of trailer is this? Jesus. Where? Where's the... There, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. There it is. Okay, that's what I need. That shot from Psycho. God, that, that remake was just bad. Like, are they... I think they're even using an image from the original right here. Oh, God. It was such... Ugh. Ugh. Why? I like the original. Leave it alone. And comparing it to the 1998 remake of Psycho, in my opinion, was really unfair. It's clear that Jackson's love of the original King Kong in this remake was not meant there to be There we go. Look how easy all, this is. But more of an expensive love letter to the original film entirely. I'd say the bigger issues with it are that it's just the original with the... Okay, here we go. I mean, depending. I mean, like, you know what? Can I be honest? I like that direct-to-video remake of uh, <laughs> The Lost World, ironically. I thought that was actually okay. There we go. So we're going to use that. That's a good clip to use. I'd say the bigger issues with it are that it's just the original with the scale of... The bigger issues with it are that it's just the original with.
There we go. I'd say the bigger issues with it are that it's just the original with the... Now we have to get Titanic in there. Because, um... Yeah. Somewhat connected. So let's go to... Clips. I gotta go find. I gotta go find a clip from Titanic. Oh boy, this might take a sec. Let's see. Drama. Where is my? No. I need a shot from. Let's see. It might be under disaster. Let's see. No, that's I only got his twister. Uh, hmm. No, it wouldn't be under, uh, one, oh, maybe under Cameron. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got this. There we go. It's good to use trailers for what you need. Um, also looks as bad as the repeat of so-called live-action Lion King. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. I love the untitled parody you did for the decaying step stegosaurus pu uh, puppet. Thank you. Yeah, that was um, that was fun to do. I like doing that one. I like doing my covers from time to time. Let's see. Starmaster agree with no remakes idea. Um, thank you so much, Honey Bear. Really appreciate the compliments. We're getting there. Look at that. We're already like. Almost two minutes into editing, out of 24 minutes. That's not too bad for a, for a night stream. Oh, we're going on 53. Imagine if the Monsterverse met, meets that violent, na violent native girl from Congo 5. Oh, God. Um, like you've mentioned before, I'd really like to see Jap Japan's take on Kong again. I agree. Yeah, I actually point that out. That would be a good idea if they could be able to uh, do that at some point. Um... There's a YouTube show called Simple Heroes 3 that talks and shows some historical moments of weird stories as well. Interesting. Which director should Legendary get to direct the next MonsterVerse film? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know why. I'd love to see Jackson do something again. A lot of people want Peter Jackson to come back. Again, thank you so much, Honey Bear. Really appreciate it. Um, the only Jurassic Park legacy view hint that I could find is where you put a joke that John Hammond from Jurassic Park novel. Okay, so that's just a joke. <laughs> but there is, um, going to be some hints later on. I will say that. Okay, so we got the shots. So let's, um, go to where I want to include stuff from the movie Titanic. Okay, let's see. Huh? Oh, that would, oh, there we go, there we go, that, that works, that works, that works, that works, that works. These shots work from Titanic, okay. Original with the scale of something like Titanic. I mean, think about it. All right, so now this is where we're gonna, this is where we're gonna get, like, tricky with the shots, basically. So what I have to do is, first, I'm gonna take the stuff from Titanic first. I mean, think about it, it's a three-hour period piece. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that 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 works. Maybe ish. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use this. Sh There's a good shot of Rose I want to use here. Let's see. Not Cal. Not him. Not the man who should be Lex Luthor. Let's see here. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? There's a great shot of Kate Winslet here somewhere that I like. There it is, there he is, there it is, there it is. So, it's interesting. So, I'm going to use clips from the movies to kind of, like, and match them up. It's like one of those Mr. Plankett moments where you match it up where it's, like, poetry, it rhymes. Got it. It's a three-hour period piece, starting with the steam. Let's see. Uh, starting on a steamboat. Yep, that is true. Let's see here. Oh, it's starting with the steamship voyage. To there we go. 
It really, the original really is just, the, the Peter Jackson remake really is just Titanic. The original Kong, but with the scale of Titanic. Cameron doing a Kong movie, basically, um, is sort of the es essentials. Um, I'm just going to find scenes that match here. I think I want to take the scene where they where they kiss for sure because that's gonna match um, something I do here later. But um, maybe not that one. Is there a good? Is that okay? Is it here? Oh, that, there we go. That that does it. That does it. That does it. That's a good shot. Because you'll see what I'm doing here. Uh, personally, I would agree. Matt Reeves or Christopher Nolan. That would be cool if they got them to do it. Ship voyage, two people falling in love. There we go. Of the ship runs a wreck. Yeah, there we go. Let's see here. Let's see. I gotta find a really good shot here that works. Uh, that works on. Uh, let's see here. I gotta find a really good shot of the ship when it like wrecks here. Let's see. Hmm. I have to match it with some stuff later on. In fact, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna show you guys what I'm exactly talking about in context. So if we take shots from the trailer for Titanic and we match it with Kong, right? Here's what I'm talking about. They're literally good. They're it's almost the same shots. Uh, you could actually kind of say that um, Jackson ripped off Cameron to a degree. So watch this. Watch this shit. This is this is this is what's called the magic of editing, folks. We're gonna take this shot. The first thing I'm gonna do is uh, like crop it. This is the magic of editing. So we're going to take that. We're going to go here. We're going to shrink down that, the, the cropping there. We're going to go about halfway. Let's see. If we go to about maybe, let's go to about zero. And let's also back it. Let's go to about, eh, about 75%. Let's go to about 75 75. Okay, there we go. About 75%. Now we're going to take the other shot. This is how you do what's like what I call a comparison uh, montage, where you're going to literally like make the match. So we're going to go down here. We're going to bring it all the way down. This is something that I like to see Mr. Plankett do too, where he like takes movie scenes and just kind of matches them. You know what? I might actually have to bring that down. Let's bring it down to about 70%. Let's go down, 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 down. Let's, uh, let's bring this shot to 70%. Let's go to 70. There we go. And we're also going to bring it up. So that gives this scene more energy. So look at this. Look at this. It is literally the same goddamn thing. And we're going to make comparisons to it right now. Okay. So if I get shots from this movie. This is how similar this goddamn film is. Let's see. Let's go to here. How do you feel about your friends Jay, Brad, and Sean saying Titanic is a terrible movie? It's, it's all right. I mean, like, my opinion's a little different because I actually like Titanic. So there's that. Look at that. Look at these comparisons. These are what I call compare. Like they are literally the same shots. Um, did you watch Dune Part Two? I've not seen any of the Dune movies. If Peter Jackson directed Spider-Man, he might as well take scrap James Cameron Spider-Man. Exactly. Literally the same shots. And actually, remember that kiss shot I was talking about that I wanted to savor for later uh, in this uh, video? 
Check this out. We're going to go here. I'm also going to slowly do it where it's like less. It's because they about like the shot goes to about, so we have to kind of crop it a tad. So I kind of have to bring it out a little bit. So now I got to go to speed. God, not even at 50%. There we go. So now it's that. Now we're going to go. Oh, shit. It is practically the same shots. It is practically the same shots. I mean, think about it. It's a three-hour period piece, starting with the steamship voyage, two people falling in love, the ship runs a wreck. You can see where it kind of is like, wow, wow, they, they just ripped the goddamn movie off. They literally just ripped them off. The ship runs a wreck in the middle of the ocean. The ocean. They, they literally just ripped off each shot. Um, which scrap movie is better? Cameron's Spider-Man, Godzilla 94, or 96 Kong? 96 Kong. Same shots. All right, this is where we get tricky dicky here. All right. Okay, so I think we lost. Let's see here. Okay, so I have to go back and add. The Jackson stuff. Let's see here. So I'm going to move that. Uh, I'm going to go to clips. Let's see, King Kong trailer. Official trailer. I got to re uh, render it. Also, don't forget, guys, super chats are always welcome. Let's see. How are we doing, everybody? There was a King Kong parody in the style of Scary Movie here, the Mel Brooks. That would be cool. I mean, we had it. It's called Queen Kong, and it sucked. Let's be said about K Kate Winslet being a part. Yeah, she was almost in it, which is interesting. Doesn't bother me with the similar shots. Titanic is still the biggest movie of all time at the time. I love both films. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, it doesn't bother me either. Either They're still, like, good movies. Let's see. Okay. Let's get back to it. Welcome back, Star Master. Let's see. Da, da, da. This is where I have to add. Now watch this. Again, it's the same fucking shots. These bastards. Look at this. It's ridiculous. I don't think I have to do is kind of cheat it. Or I'm just kind of clip that. There. It is practically the same shots um what do you think it would be like if king kong was created in present instead of 1933 i mean we could, that's how we got the 76 remake ship voyage two people falling in love the ship runs a wreck in the middle i got cheetah tad
Okay, this is where I have to uh, take some scenes. Let's, oh, I know what shot I can use here. I don't care what it takes, Lovejoy. Find out. Thank you so much, Honey Bear. Really appreciate it. There should be a shot of Jack Black here somewhere, right? Let's see. Is there not? Weird. I swear there was a shot of Jack Black prior. Is it? No? Let's see. It's funny, too, they also used the soundtrack to uh, Braveheart in the trailer as well, which is interesting. You know what? I know what I'm going to... I know that I'm going to actually use the second trailer, which thankfully I have handy. So I'm going to go to... Let's see. If I go here and if I go to the second trailer, the first trailer, technically, let's see here. Where's the first trailer? I have it here somewhere. Uh, hmm. Uh, trailer, homage. Do I not have the trailer in here? What the fuck? Hang on a sec, guys. Uh, so I got, okay, let me go to my archives. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, fan teaser. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that one as well because that would work good. Um, commercials. I'm gonna grab that. That's gonna come in handy. The first trailer. Yeah, we're gonna use that. Okay, that should do it. I go here. I have not read the original screenplay because I do not have the book, unfortunately. I would like to, though. If somebody wants to send me a copy, please do. They're making another live-action Popeye movie. Ugh, no. Why? Please don't. That sounds incredibly stupid. Please don't do that. <laughs> have you ever seen 1930s movie Gunga Din? It was basically Temple of Doom. I have not seen that. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Okay. How are we doing? Okay. So now I have to take shots from this teaser. Let's see here. That one. Yeah, that's the shot I need. Unfortunately, it's an open mat version, so I have to find a way to um, fix that. I have to find a way to fix that. So let me just uh, go to effect. Well, first of all, let me just, uh, I'm going to crop it. Let's see here. Go to about there. Yeah, that works. Now we're going to go to properties. And we just got to crop it to about a 12 by 12. 12 by 12. And now we can take this, copy all, and we can paste. Shit. That's not what I wanted. Let's see. I'm going to go 12. And then by 12. There we go. Now we're going to go here. We're going to go here. There we go. So you see how, like, it almost, like, it literally matches. Like, they are the, I, I, I kind of like doing this. This is kind of a fun little experiment, actually. Let's see here. 
Let's delete all this shit. Damn, that's a lot of crap I don't need. There we go. Okay. So you can literally see they're just ripping off the same shots. It is practically the same fucking movie. There we go. So you see that? Like, it literally is the same movie. A wreck in the middle of the ocean, and the rest of the film is a dis... Okay, so now we gotta go to... Um... Shots that kind of match. Ish. Um, let's see here. What about this one? Ooh, I know some shots that could work. And there's a good shot of Rose somewhere that maybe she's like, she like does a dramatic turn. But I don't know where it is in the trailer. Let's just see here. There should be one in the trailer. I think. Let's see. I have been wrong. Is this it? We literally have to go through like the whole trailer now. <laughs> oh boy. The fun of editing. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Let's try this one. No. No. Let's see. I, like, I like Titanic. I don't care what people say. It's a good movie. Let's see. And there's a really good shot of Rose. Like, I'm trying to find... There's a shot of Rose here somewhere I can use. Or I think she does some sort of dramatic turn. I'm convinced Cal's a Terminator, by the way. Only logical reason. Oh, and see, this is why I miss in trailers. Like, those big dramatic letterings. You don't see that anymore, you know? Let's see. Might be in here somewhere. Oh, I know where it might be. Hang on, hang on. That's the shot. That's the shot I need. Okay. That's the shot I need. Just got to go to here. Just need that quick dramatic shot. There we go. It's all about timing, people. Uh, let me just... Effect, copy all, gonna paste. So there's that. It's all about timing it because I want to get, I want to kind of match these shots that you see in both trailers. Um, so I want to kind of, so I have to basically stretch this out because I want to match exactly. So it's about half. About maybe there. And now we're going to go here. Yeah, well, I want to try to match, basically to give an idea, sort of referencing what I'm doing here. As much as I love fictional dinosaurs in Jackson's remake, there's just something about more visceral and exciting about seeing Kong Bali. Exactly! It's really cool! Uh... Looking back, I can agree with Jack saying I can see why it said for shot for shot. Um, remake set in modern day probably won't because it, we would have to discover Skull Island by now. That's sort of what my remake entailed, that even if Skull Island was discovered, the government probably would have covered it up. Is sort of um, my take on the matter. Basically. So let me just see here what I can use here that would be good shots that would match in the middle of the ocean, and the rest of the film is a disaster. Let's see here. Ooh, I can... Ooh, shots like this I can use. Actually, for sure, I can use these. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now I just gotta go shots of people panicking on Titanic! So there we go. Um, let's see here. If I use... 
Let's see here. Um, let's see here. No. Uh, that that does it. There we go. It's fun editing these, actually. Right there, yeah. It's really fun editing these, actually. There. And I just got to kind of cut there, cut there, cut there. I'm going to do shot jack here, which I'm probably going to use one of these solo shots. I think there's a solo shot of him somewhere. Hang on. Uh, I want to say, oh, right here is pretty good. There we go. That works. Uh, nope, that's not going to do. And then delete that. And I go here. Copy. There we go. Yeah, look at that. So now it's just about matching these shots. I should probably figure out a shot that works for um, that final bit in the trailer, sort of right here, because we've already used these. So let's just uh, go here. I'm trying to match these shots. So we're just going to there and then there. Oh, I know what I can use, actually. There. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This shot, I'm thinking. There we go. It's there. And then we go to this shot. Yeah, let's see here. Will that work? Oh, that works actually perfectly, actually. That works great. There we go. I'm just going to go down here. You should read the original uh, script for Titanic miniseries. Um, I mean, I have seen the miniseries with Tim Curry, and I really like it. I think it's really dark. But, um, yeah, that was like, actually a great uh, series, actually. So there we go. Let's let's see how this all plays out now. Let's see how this plays out. It's a three-hour period piece, starting with a steamship voyage, two people falling in love, the ship runs a wreck in the middle of the ocean, and the rest of the film is a disaster action movie with Fights, frights, floods, and a tragic climax. Oh, I should put the tragic climax part. Um. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 don't want to do that. Let's see. Tragic climax. We're going to go. Floods and a track. We're going to take that and we're going to put it over here. Slightly put it there. Slightly put it there. There we go. There we go. Floods and a tragic climax. And considering Titanic was... What to do? Now I gotta find stuff. Now I gotta find shots of people running. Do we have anything from like the swamp or something in this in this trailer? 
We've got a lot of running here, a lot of running there. Um, let's see if I can match here. Um, hmm. I need a shot of people running, but I cannot find it. There we go. Actually, I got a perfect place. Hang on. Copy. Paste. Copy paste, people, is the way to go. Let's see. Ooh, actually, I got a funnier idea. Hang on. I got a really funny idea. Give me a sec. I got a way funnier idea for this trailer. Hang on. Way funnier. I know exactly what I'm going to do here. I am a monster. I am a freaking monster. This is this is actually going to be really funny. Let's see here. Just uh First I got to find one more bit. Ooh, 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 ooh. I know. I know. Hang on. Let's see. Let me try to go here. Ooh, I know. I know. I got it. 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 The master of editing, people. I got it. I got it. Um, you're feeling sleepy, honey bear. It's all right. You know, hey, this is your comfort. This helps you sleep. And you're seeing me match one of your favorite movies to one of one of mine. So it evens out. Oh, I'm a genius. 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 Want to see that? Want to see the matching show? Oh, look at Leo's eye here. It's actually really funny. He's like, he's like, <laughs> kind, of, kind of silly. There you go. Copy all. We're going to paste that. There go. Yeah, I got this. I got this. I got this. Oh, yeah. We got this. Now, where that punch is, right? I'm going to put this shot here. Right? Let's get out of there. I'm going to put that here. I'll punch it. Oh, that's like that is perfect right there punch and where's the shot of Jimmy shooting the gun right right there like that the other thing I have to do is just take one frame and just cut one frame out works out fine actually because you can see that frames there and just slightly there this is where, now this is where I get really funny with the visual references ready so this shot of the dinosaur there's a shot of the dinosaur falling right which is gonna go Right. Oh shoot, we got a super chat! Super chat! Yeah! Anthony Lotmer, thank you so much for that $5 super chat. Woo! All right, all right, here we go. 
Um, hey, Jack, have you thought about reviewing David Allen's The Primevals when it comes out on Blu-ray? Um, I've considered it. Um, I'd have to get the Blu-ray at some point. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, I've seen some of the primevals, but not the whole thing. But uh, really, really do appreciate that, Super Chat, Anthony. Thank you so much. Guys, Super Chats are always appreciated. Um, really, really thank you so much, man. Really love that. But, guys, obviously, Super Chats are welcome. But this goes a long way. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. In fact, we're going to keep you up. Guys, go subscribe to Anthony. Uh, that comes in handy. So, moving on. Thank you so much, Anthony. Really appreciate that. So now, if you remember that that um, guy falling on Titanic? No, watch this. This is going to be really funny. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. And look how much better this match is. <laughs> it's somebody falls to his death. There's the joke. That's 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 pretty. Come on, guys. That's that's pretty damn funny. When you think about it that way, that is really damn funny. There we go. Look at that. That is funny. Again, thank you so much for that super chat, Anthony. Really appreciate it. Now we can play it all together. Now watch this. Think about it. It's a three-hour period piece, starting with the steamship voyage, two people falling in love, the ship runs a wreck in the middle of the ocean, and the rest of the film is a disaster action movie with fights, frights, floods, and a tragic climax. And So look at that. Like, it is literally the same movie. And now we can take some stuff from Titanic here. And I can literally just add scenes from the movie here. There we go. It's a madhouse! A madhouse! I'm a madman because I made comparisons that nobody else would. No one else would. Tragic climax. And considering Titanic was the biggest movie of all time, I mean, even... There we go. I'm just gonna go right about here. There we go. We're gonna try to at least get to about 24 minutes, I, I think. Um, biggest movie of all time. I mean, even... I'm going to go maybe about, there we go. Also, um, hang on a sec, guys. Just going to check here for a sec. One moment. Damn. Okay, so this is where I have to go into stuff for Star Wars. I should point out, people, I am aware of some of the current things with Star Wars today, such the Acrolyte, which looks okay, and then the whole George Lucas report. Guys, I'm not going to bitch about it. I really don't care. I just like what I like when it comes to Star Wars. But let me just go to, uh, let's see, let's go to Star Wars. Uh... Let's go, I gotta get clips from episode one. 
Let's see here. I need clips. Let's see here. Uh, hmm. I think I need a oh, yeah, here. There we go. Okay, I got it. Hey, Jack, I made a personal theory that the Feroctus is a descendant of the Pachyrhinosaurus. Yeah, it probably is. Thanks, Dad. Good to see you. I love how they made a ship broke because they never had vibranium back then. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny in hindsight. Okay, so now we're going to go to here with episode one. I got to get some shots from that and stick that in the cut. Yeah, we are at, uh, we're going to try to get at least the first four minutes in, hopefully. Then depending how we're feeling, we're probably going to call it a night. Again, really appreciate that super chat from uh, Anthony. Goes a long way in helping the channel out. All right, so. Let's do this much for Star Wars. Jar Jar! There he is. I'm, I mean, even George Lucas knew it couldn't be topped making episode one. So now, this is where I have to add clips from The Phantom Menace. Which, yes, is, is coming. It is happening, folks. I'm, I actually worked on a little bit of it today. Here we go. So this is actually a true thing that George Lucas said on the set of episode one, which I think is one of the funniest things ever. Um, you're going to love this. So here we go. Floods and a tragic climax. And considering Titanic was the... Let's see. Let's, let's uh, cut that. Trim some of the fat there. That helps. There we go. That helps. Tragic climax. And considering Titanic was the biggest movie of all time, I mean, even George Lucas knew it couldn't be topped making episode one. There's no way to know what's going to happen. You know, if we're never going to beat Titanic, nobody can. I don't think that's... Can you explain that? Nobody can. I mean, it's one of those things. It just happens. It's like with Star Wars. It just it defies reality. There's no way to know what's going to happen. You know, if we're never going to beat Titanic, nobody can. I don't think that's... Can you explain that? Uh, Frank Oz is like, can you explain that? Can you explain that? Then we're going to go here, and I think I think he continues here. <laughs> I love Frank's reaction here, too. Or we're never going to beat Titanic. Nobody can. Actually, we've narrowed it down to 23 minutes. Top making episode one. There's no way to know what's going to happen you know, whatever going to be Titanic, nobody can. I don't think that's like, can you explain that? I did a more American graffiti, it made 10 cents. <laughs> failed miserably. But outside. I love that. He's like, it's like, I made more American graffiti, it made 10 cents. I love this. Just. I did a more American graffiti, it made 10 cents. And then Frank's reaction is so funny. <laughs> But outside of that, coming off of Lord of the Rings, it's impressive how much Jackson put in. There we go. So now we can go back to the trailer. Here we go. I'm practically using every shot in the trailer. Oh, boy. Off of Lord of the Rings, it's a... Actually, I think I'm going to use a modern trailer to, to figure that out. Here we go. Okay. I 
think I have a modern trailer in here somewhere. Those are clips. Let's see, fan teaser. Let's see. Maybe after this, I think I might watch 2005, Anything to Make Me Sleepy. Good idea, actually. Very good idea. Good suggestion. Here we go. Hope everybody's good tonight, by the way. Gee, honey bear, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. Eee, that's so cute. I don't know why it's so cute. Let's see. All right. A lot of boat shots. Let's see. Here we go. But outside of that, coming off of Lord of the Rings, it's impressive how much Jackson put. I'm just going to save that. Let's go back to Lord of the Rings. Uh, let's see here. Now we already did that. Let's see here. I need something a bit more poignant. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. This works. Let's use some more of that Lord of, lovely Lord of the Rings, which I love. Let's see. Yeah, like it still holds up in terms of shots. But outside of that, coming off of Lord of the Rings... Go, I'm gonna go here. The rings, it's impressive how much Jackson. There we go. Much Jackson put in as a tribute to his favorite film. What the time limit he had. There we go. The rings. It's impressive how much Jackson put in as a tribute to his favorite film. With the time limit he had and a whopping... There we go. Okay, this is where we're going to get into spoilers, people, on the review. So just bear with me. Oh, 
mind on that. And then we went straight into the... Oh, Lord of the Rings. Carried through. Oh, look at the time limit he had and a whopping... Yeah, literally, like, when they, after, they literally went into pre-production on Kong right after Lord of the Rings, which is insane. Actually. Well, with the time limit he had, and a whopping $207 million for Universal Pictures. Universal. So, it was really nice when we got a phone call um, from Universal. There we go. Actually, no, I'm going to. Uh, you know what? I'll use this actually. No, I'm gonna try to maybe move this footage. There we go. Oh. What the time limit he had and a whopping two hundred and seven million dollars for Universal Pictures. Yeah, it was actually $207 million to make this movie. Pictures. Universal and Jackson originally projected a hundred... Here we go, this works. Universal and Jackson originally projected a hundred and fifty million dollar budget, which eventually rose to... Here we go. If you go in post-production, and really the most valuable one in terms of just crashing along. Yeah, it was great. See, I love this stuff. This documentary stuff is great. Segments, if you like, which is pretty good. It's going to be a smooth problem. The thing that became painfully apparent, right? There we go. Dead. Which eventually rose to 175 million because Jackson made a deal with him. It's good to kind of use the stuff for uh, million, for because Jackson made a deal with Universal where it's really good to have this stuff handy for when you're ready to go in terms of just like prepping. So we had so. the whole of the trilogy. We had pretty much two years. You're racing, boys, you know, and, and we were racing. Yeah, they they didn't they literally had to do effects that was the whole of the trilogy. And then like you know, like, but do that in a matter of months. Universal whereby he would be paid just twenty I'm not liking that one. I shot Jackson on the Empire State Building. That's a nice one. Yeah, they went to the Empire State Building, which is pretty cool. And what, here's the crazy part. They literally went to the comb. They went into the comb. Like, here's Jackson on the comb of the Empire State Building. Like, literally the top. Like, they actually did this. I would not do this. Like, I would not do this for the life of me, and this is what's interesting. I suddenly realized that the zoo was electronically pulsing out, in and out, in and out, and I realized that all of these microwaves that were coming from these antennas had suddenly taken control of my video camera, and I thought, God, if this is what it's happening, my video camera was... Because of the radio waves? Like, there, Jackson got concerned that it was going to fuck up his body, which is interesting. And two, because they are where ideas went from. So, let me try to find a bit that would be good to use here. Uh, we set out here we go. the design of the film very much um, identifies the flavor and the tone of the movie. Here we go. We set out firstly through conceptual illustration doing a variety of got this the concept art and everything is fantastic all the sculptures in this film are wonderful it's 
it's insane how crazy they got with this stuff. Actually, Alan Lee, who did Lord of the Rings, uh, was an illustrator, uh, actually did help out on that. Let's see here. What I love about these doc this documentary on Kong, by the way, is that it's sort of a... It's interesting. I would call it sort of a epilogue to the Lord of the Rings appendices, which I really like. Reversal whereby he would be paid just 20... There we go. There we go. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Reversal whereby he would be paid just $20 million salary against 20% of the... There we go. Now I'm also going to go to the... I have the post-production diary, so I should probably use some of that as well. Let me go to the post-production diaries. Here we go. Let me go to, like, the last one. Let's see here. Yeah, this is from the New Zealand premiere. Uh... Jackson is a genius. Let's see here. Uh, hmm. Everyone seems to be very buoyed and happy tonight and good spirit. And... Yeah, this was at the premiere in New York, which is interesting. Really cool, actually. Yeah, everybody's still here. I really appreciate you guys hanging around. I know I'm not paying attention too much to the chat, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, see, oh, hang on a sec. Uh, Harry Henry, I saw the venture in Wellington Harbor before it sank. Uh, just so cool, got to experience it. We are going to talk about that actually. Uh, uh, Harry Henry, uh, that is something that is brought up in this in this episode. So thanks for that insight. Actually, it's interesting. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, the mayor came in and, like, gave Peter the key to the city. Key to the city. Oh, I... The premiere will proclaim it King Kong Day. Yeah, apparently it was King Kong Day at the premiere, which is interesting. The original King Kong on TV. Well, this was how I saw... I think the question I ended up talking about the most in the gym... Let's see... To be the promotion of the film. Yeah, this is the stuff I want to use here. Well, welcome to this week's post production dive. Those I miss the days of when behind the scenes you could do production like you do like production diaries and give people a behind the scenes look at things before they come out. Good I'm glad you're still here, honey bear. Against twenty percent of the box office grosses for directing, producing, and co writing. I think it does no harm to remake a, a film that was made in nineteen thirty three because the original is a classic and, and will always be. Let's see, here we go. For directing, producing, and co writing. Oh. That works out. This is for directing, producing, and co-writing, making it one of the most expensive. There we go. That works out. This makes it work. Okay. There we go. There we go. We're getting there, guys. All writing, making it one of the most expensive paid to a director of... Oh, wait, no. I don't want to use that. 
I'm going to go back to the production diaries, actually, because that actually had better footage to work with. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's them building the venture. Let's see. There's a lot of the venture stuff they filmed here. Um, you can see a 13 year old kid. You know, that. Let's see here. He had a grin on his face. As that first shot was being done, that we were doing it. Hello, welcome to Congress King. Here we go. Only a few more days till we start shooting. Huh? No more days till we start shooting. <laughs> yeah, that was the first production diary actually was in there as well. Here we go. Here we go. They got it. As that first shot was being done, that we were doing it. Hmm. Reasonably well prepared on that first night, and then. Here we go. Making it one of the most ex. There we go. Oh shoot! Another another super chat. Woo! Okay, here we go from uh, Gerard Lang. Thanks for letting us on your production diary and process live. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Really, th thank you so much for that, Jared. Really appreciate it, and really appreciate you guys coming in to see the uh, behind-the-scenes uh, uh, way of going about it. Guys, Super Chats are always welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, that goes a long way in helping our productions and our and, uh, get things going. So, again, thank you so much, Gerald. Uh, really, really appreciate that. I'm going to keep you up. Guys, go subscribe to him. What a chap. What a dude. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love that like, you're just like... Just having fun on the set. That's funny. But again, I'm just trying to find some stuff here that I want to... Some good shots of Jackson directing. Um, go to Skull Island, maybe. Should be some stuff in Skull Island when they were filming. Let's see here. Um, hmm... This is all... Let's see, this is all... Is this all skill on? Oh, it's all the digital effects. Okay, so we want to go to... Um... Hmm. I'm going to go to... I'm gonna keep that one. Making it one of the most... Ex but I uh, really appreciate that so much, man. That goes a long way in helping us out with our uh, with the projects. Thank you so much, Gerald. Let's see. Yeah, like the first few bits of the production diaries had a lot of stuff on the ship. I'm trying to go to where the Skull Island stuff is. When they start filming that, that's the best stuff. That's the cool stuff. You can copy this. 
I shall keep. I like that one. Here we go. Most expensive paid to a director. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. To a director alone and one of the most expensive. That's oh, you know what I love this stuff. So apparently, when they were directing, right? They when they were making the movie, uh, they had this production diary where this guy who was get uh, uh, dressed up as Gandalf. Um, was taking unauthorized photos of the set, which is really funny here. Give it a sec. Today is day 36 here on the set, and it's not a very happy day for us. Disturbing, there's a guy named Gandalf who's been taking photos. And then somebody dressed up as Gandalf was taking photos of the set. Oh, it's just freaky. I can't believe that Gandalf would do that to me, not after anything I've done to him. <laughs> So literally, like, it's a whole thing about trying to chase down the person who's dressed up as Gandalf. <laughs> it's just hilarious. I think that's really funny. Like, I love this. Right here. <laughs> you can tell that everybody involved was having fun on this production. You could tell everybody involved was having a blast. Here we go. I'm actually going to go here. Making it one of the most expensive paid to a director alone and one of the most expensive. Paid to a director alone. You know, that's the thing. What's great about working with Peter Jackson in this prime? You were having fun making these movies. Most expensive paid to a director alone. There we go. And one of the most expensive movies. There we go. It's <sighs> Andy Circus in the mocap stage. Everybody's by the end of the shoot, everybody was just extremely tired. Everybody was tired making this. My God. Again, you just don't see this anymore in movies, and I wish they would kind of bring it back, that there were these, like, behind-the-scenes uh, things on, like, making these movies. So they just they just don't do that anymore, which sucks. Here. They're going to be using the you just You just don't see that anymore. I like that shot. Out. Movies at the time. Not, not to mention the budget or much more going into the bloody. There we go. I like these shots are good. Here we go. Paid to a director alone and one of the most expensive movies at the time. Not to mention the budget or much more going into the bloody market. Oh, yeah. The marketing was also a thing for this movie. So that's where we have to go into the commercials. Yay! Commercials! Here we go. So now we're going to go to get some commercials in there. Now, the thing is, I want to keep some. Like, there's a, uh, um, what is it? Um, sort of thing with, uh, what is it? Um, 
I have like a commercial for like Burger King, so I'm probably just gonna use that. But there is also like toys and stuff as well. So we're gonna we're gonna utilize this here. Actually, you know, I'm gonna save that part. I'm actually just gonna use footage from the movie. Or just the production diaries. Let's just go to the production diaries. That works too. Are you gonna see the new Ghostbusters? I'm gonna see it Saturday, Toon King. That's that's when I'm gonna go see it. No. Um here we go. When he shot this. I'll use use uh, post production, which is a lot better. The climax is basically in the premiere. We're here for the what we call the worldwide jump cut. Here we go. This is where it gets good. There are much more going into the bloody marketing campaign, but that. There we go. Did or much more going into the bloody marketing campaign. Actually, no, I don't like that clip. Let's use uh, something here. Let's see. Oh, I like that one. That one's good. That one works. Here we go. Or much more going into the bloody marketing campaign. There we go. That works. Now, I have to grab a clip from... There's an audio bit from the Opie and Anthony show where they talked about Kong's marketing. So I think I have that in my audio files. Let's see here. I'm going to radio. I think I have like a podcast with the Opie and Anthony show where they talked about this. Right here? Oh. Yeah, it was this one. Okay. So this is where I have to kind of go in and um, uh, I can add stuff from the uh, Opie and Anthony podcast. Here we go. So I have to add this. So this is where it's going to get a little tricky in, in edit in uh, making it uh, good. Here we go. Kong. Uh, four star reviews all over the damn place. Two so. more four star reviews coming in. Yeah, you get to hear Open yeah, Anthony yeah. talk oh, about it. See this movie. Oh. Opens Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday? Yeah, it's some kind of thing they do where they want this huge, like, opening weekend tally right so then by sunday they actually have wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday under this so it looks like it's a huge yes. amount right after the weekend well, it's gonna be here we go yeah i don't think you're gonna need there's a lot of people are thinking like patrice o'neill here we go here we go here we go and i think this movie's gonna be giant huge it has uh, to make uh, over 500 million to break even yeah, actually, it had to. It had to break five hundred million to break even. That was another thing about this movie. It was really expensive at the time. Million to break even. It is. Is It is. Let's see. Even is that what they're saying? It cost two hundred seven million. You know, to and make promotion. then the promotion, then his salary, then and he gets twenty percent. It's twenty yeah. twenty twenty million or twenty. Salary then, and he get. So I just gotta have to abridge it a little bit. One twenty million or twenty percent against the. There we go. He gets twenty percent against the gross. Or something Dude, this like will that. do worldwide over a billion. For it to be a a hit. 500 million is breaking even. Nah, this, this, this is good. There we go. 
here we go. For a billion. 500 million is breaking even. Yeah. This, thing this is going to make yeah, this thing's panic gonna be money. Nasty. Why do you think that? Why? What? Because. Yeah, uh, uh, let's go here. 500 million is breaking even. Nah, this, this thing is going to make yeah, this thing's panic be money. money. There we go. That works out. There we go. I just have to add clips on the movie. Is that what they're saying? Let's there see. are much more going into the bloody marketing campaign. Kong. Uh, Four star review. So what I'm probably also gonna do is I'm gonna add. Actually, what's cool is I got here. I believe I have in my archives um, the Roger Ebert review of this movie, which is another cool thing to have handy. So let's go to. Do I have the uh, Roger Ebert review? I, yeah, actually I do. Here we go. Here's Roger Ebert's take. Here we go. This is Roger Ebert talking about the movie. The latest Kong is truly the king. It's a magnificent movie, a love story that's not one of every bright affection this time. The beauty feels the true tenderness and express. Yeah, it's so fun. Peter Jackson went straight from the sprawling Lord. Yeah, so this is um this was uh, Roger Ebert, one of uh, his review of the movie, which is really cool. Um, I'm also gonna try to see do I have any articles of what the reviews were? Hang on, King Kong 2005 newspaper article. I have to look this up. Give me a sec. Um, ooh, I got a, oh, yep, I got something here. Hang on. Uh, let's go take this to my archives. Let's see. Uh, let's see there. I'm going to go to 2005. I'm going to go to clips. I'm gonna add it. There we go. Just going to be adding all these, uh, Reviews from the film. Let's see. Um, there we go. Yeah, a lot of articles on on when they uh, when the reviews came out for that. So now we're gonna go take that. We're gonna go and add them to our archives. Yeah, he would um he would be shocked, I think, Roger Ebert actually. He would be very shocked. Holy smokes. Like he he'd he'd be pretty he'd be pretty shocked. There, so we have some uh some of that. Let's see. I think I'll, I can use the Newsweek article. There we go. Let's do that. Kong. Uh, Four star reviews all over the damn place. So I'm just going to go and uh, dolly this. Hey, Jack, a reaction if you uh, plan on doing one of the recommended in Gen 2D. I'm probably not going to do a reaction video for a bit. I just want to get these episodes done first. Let's see here. Vertical. I'm going to bring that down. Oh, there's even like an ad for the production diaries in the in the newspaper article, which is funny. Yeah, it's really funny. So I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna uh, go horizontal. Uh, kind of bring it in. There we go. And we're gonna go up. Horizontal. There we go. We're gonna go uh, about sixty-five, and we're gonna bring it up to where it shows the newspaper ad. There we go. So there. 
campaign. Kong. Uh, Four star reviews all over the damn place. Here. Kong. Uh, Four star reviews all over the damn place. There we go. And continue there. Yeah, like thrilling, epic, wild, unpredictable. Let's see. There's a lot of positivity around this movie when it came out, honestly. Let's see. Here we go. We're going to zoom in on that. Give it a bit more panache in the edit. Here we go. Crop that. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. This is fun to put together. Damn play. Two more four star reviews coming in. I think this movie's going to be giant. There we go. We're going to kind of zoom out a little bit. There we go. Marketing campaign. Kong. Uh, four star reviews all over the damn place. Two so. more four star reviews coming in. I think this movie's going to be giant. Huge. Here we go. And I think this movie... There we go. I should almost save that. Let's see here. I think this movie's gonna be giant, huge. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna put that in like that. And stick that there. There we go. Also, what's funny is this, uh, this, uh, one of the trailers or TV spots used Coldplay in the, when Coldplay was all over trailers back then. Y'all remember that? Coming in. I think this movie's going to be giant. Huge. Uh, it has to make over 500 million to break even. Is that? Five hundred million. There we go. Man, I think this movie's gonna be giant, huge. Uh, it has to make over five. There we go. I'm gonna put that there. Make over five hundred million. Let's see here. I'm going to save that for later, the, the Kong New York statue. Let's see. We've taken over two huge movie complexes. The uh, AM. Here we go. Total, 38 screens. Here we go. What's 
38 theaters, 8,000 people, which is the There we go. Uh, it has to make over 500 million to break even. Is that uh, what they're saying? It costs 27 million. Hang on a sec. Make over 500 million to break even. Uh, hang on a sec. Just uh, getting a message in. Uh, hang on a sec, guys. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's weird, because, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to find some stuff here. Okay, anyway, uh, let's get back to it. Um, just checking my messages. Okay, nothing came out as of yet. Okay. Is there an article about Kong in the box office? Let me check that. Um, should be an article here somewhere about that. Um, hang on a sec. Um, uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. Surprised there's no news article about the box office. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, there it is from 2005. That that's what has to come out there, right? Okay, there we go. Uh, this is from Entertainment Weekly. Okay, this will this will do here. Okay, if I can get that snippet. Damn. Hang on. Hang on a sec, guys. Hold on one moment. There we go. There we go. Uh, hopefully that works. Yeah, it's just all about getting those articles in, you know? Let's see here. Clips. Here we go. I need to get I need to get a capture screen grab of this article. Here we go. It's gotta go right there. There we go. Over five hundred million to break even. Is that what they're saying? Cost two hundred seven million, you know, to and make. There we go. Now I'm gonna add a crop, which is good. Uh, zoom out. Should let me um. Default. Uh, let me actually zoom, zoom out. Here we go. Here I know what to do. I know what to do. Here we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. That works. That's fine. 
so that's default. Let's put it here. There we go. Jack, can you tell me a little quick review of the King Kong show from the 60s? Not a big fan. I think it is a very boring show. For the time, it was interesting. But for me, it was never really my forte, to be honest. There we go. There we go. That works out. Here we go. Star reviews all over the damn place. Two so. more four-star reviews coming in. I think this movie's going to be giant, huge. It has uh, to make over $500 million to break even. Is that uh, what they're saying? It costs $207 million, you know, to and make promote. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere, folks. Now we're going faster. Here we go. And then come come up and Tristan will be here. Will you? Best way to get that piece of information across. Here we go. on the Atlas. Greg has asked one of the, this week it would be good to catch up on some of your questions. And so the critical thing is to identify getting exactly the same thing every time the scene's played. I mean, that gives you a lot of choices. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. You know, and then the promotions, then his salary, then and he gets. Here we go. Brief, kind of cursory, you know. Hi, no more. Than It's twenty percent against the gross. Or yeah, like that. Work. I gotta go here. Now we can go back to the trailer and add some more stuff. Here we go. The wall. You saw something. What's up, Kong? There we go. There we go. Bro, so so like this will do worldwide over a billion. 500 million is breaking even. There we go. There we go. Gross. Like this will do worldwide over a billion. 500 million is breaking even. Nah, that's me. There we go.
There we go. To thin his salary, then, and he gets 20% against the gross. Dude, like this will do worldwide over a billion. 500 million is breaking even. Nah, this, this thing this, is going to make yeah, this thing's gonna be money. There we go. There we go. That works out pretty good. Okay, we're going to go for a little bit more. We get about four minutes, and then we got like 10 seconds left, and then we're probably going to call it a night, guys. The grossest. Dude, this will do worldwide over a billion. 500 million. Unless you guys want me to keep going. Yeah, this thing this is going to make yeah, this thing's gonna be money. But that $20 million salary was more than likely a payment of vengeance. There we go. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, oh, shoot, though, the super chat. Woo! Oh, my God, yo. Anthony Lumiere, thank you. Uh, Ludmere, hope I'm pr pronouncing that right. $10. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to keep going then if that's the case. We're two and a half hours in. Yeah, we're going to keep going, guys. Uh, remember that Disney Kong idea? What if there was a Disney son of Kong where Anne and Jack befriend Kong's son, a.k.a. the Iron Giant? So sort of in that in that way, there's a good idea. There's the direct-to-video sequel. <laughs> Uh, if Disney had done that. Wow. I mean, that's not a bad idea either. But, um, wow, Anthony, thank you so much for that super chat. We got a few tonight, which is really good. Anthony, Ger uh, Gerard, um, y'all have been doing spectacular. Thank you so much. Uh, the super chats go a long way in helping, uh, keeping the, the show going. And that is a huge contribution. So super chats are always welcome. Thank you so much. Anthony for that. Really appreciate it. Um, guys, go subscribe to him. It really would help out. Thank you so much, man. Anyway, let's continue. We're, we're doing pretty good right now. Thank you so much. Be my dad. But that $20 million salary was more than likely a payment of vengeance. Get I mean, like, Anna and Jack's son would be cool, too. Given how badly the studio treated the director in the 90s, Okay, this is where we get into the 1996 remake. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, boy. This is where it gets really interesting. Um... Let's see. Here we go. This is where it gets interesting, folks. It's given how badly the studio treated the director in the 90s when he attempted his first major tray at Kong along with the box office flop. Of the Frightener, Major Trey Kong. Let's see, there we go. Keep that there. Go to the Frighteners. There we go. Are you worried that Ghostbusters would be a threat to Godzilla X Cog's box office? 
that Nerd Cage believes. Um, I don't know. I think Godzilla X Kong is a much more anticipated film than Ghostbusters. But I think people are still going to go see Ghostbusters. No, I don't think this is going to be Batman 89 all over again. The studio treated the director in the 90s when he attempted his first major tray at Kong, along with the box office flop of The Frighteners with producer Robert Zemeckis, with a totally different script. With a totally different script, more on par with the classy Indiana Jones adventure movie. Funny, since Thomas Ketcherman, who played Indiana Jones adventure movie, now, this is where it gets tricky again. I don't think I have any clips from Dial of Destiny that I have that I have to actually use here. Um, but first and foremost, let me get the let me get a clip from Indiana Jones in my archives. Let's see. Oh, I do have the trailer, actually. So that will come in handy. Uh, Deanna Jones, where's the Lost Dark? Crystal Skull, Crystal Skull. Uh, I'll use, we'll use where's the Lost Dark for now. Let me just see here how this would look. Uh, um, you know, I'm just going to use uh, from Indiana Jones, actually. You know, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll just use Indiana Jones. That makes it easier. Are you going to use Ace Ventura clip? I, w I will consider it, man. I will really consider it really, um, on my end. That might come in handy. Let's see. Honestly, I kind of like Dial of Destiny. I know it wasn't the best of the series, but... It was somewhat better than Crystal Skull to a degree, but not, but not the best. Here we go. Let's use that. More on par with the classy Indiana Jones adventure. Let's see here. Let's see what I can use here. That's more on par with the classy Indiana Jones adventure movie. Funny. Let's see here. Indiana Jones adventure movie. Funny. Let's see here. I just kind of go from. See. It's more on 
par with the classy Indiana Jones adventure movie. Funny, he sends Thomas. Okay, so this is where it gets a little, a little uh, cryptic. Go see with Thomas Ketcherman himself. Nerd Case just wants the Monsterverse to fall, and I can understand why. Eh, it's not for everybody, but some people like it. Let's see here. Here we go. Funny, since Thomas Ketcherman, who played Captain Inglehorn. Ben, who played Captain Inglehorn in Jackson's remake, would play the SS officer in the opening of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, and even played a Hydra officer in Avengers Age of Ultron. God, this guy really likes to play... Here we go. This is where it gets a little, a little crazy. It's slow and Uh, no, I'm not feeling that clip. Let's try a different clip. No, I'm not feeling that one. How about this one? God. Nope, that's not a good clip. I need a really good one here. Hang on a sec, guys. I'm going to call it a night, Jack. Have a good night. Thank you so much for coming in, man. I really appreciate it. We're going to call it a night pretty soon here. Uh, just give me a moment here. And, yeah, we're going to we're gonna make this a night pretty soon. Uh, just going through the scenes. Uh, I think, oh, that's way too far in. Uh, let's try, let's see here. Maybe a bit more here, here we go. Let's try, oh, that, this one works. There we go. That works. Right here. Officer in Avengers Age of Ultron. God, this guy really likes to play period piece fascist, doesn't he? Yeah, I feel bad for Thomas Ketcherman. He's always playing the German guy that you get in that you feel get in every movie. I mean, I I only played Dr. Ratchet von Stone once because that's all I can fucking do. There you go. So we're just going to, there's one scene in the deleted scenes I have to add, which is really funny. So I have the deleted scenes handy. So we're going to go to, uh, where is it? Here we go. Deleted scenes. This is a lot of this stuff. This stuff I got to put in. A lot of this here. There's a scene here that's really good. Right here. Yeah, right here. This scene was cut, but we're going to include it. But first, let me just render it. So there's that. But while we wait, let's uh, let's answer a couple of questions. Have you ever seen the Spider-Verse movies? I've only seen the first one, Toon King. Uh, can you review the Ronald Dowell movie based on the book Willy Wonka 1971? So basically do Ronald Dell month. I mean, Patreon, if you do the top tier, I could probably do something about that. 
Uh, or to answer that, Jack's son. Yeah, that would be interesting. Uh, V-Rex versus Kong, Clash of the Titans, exactly. Uh, let's see if there's any questions above. It's a lot of ads. I know, there's like a lot of them here. Is King Kong at Burger King? Like, did they actually like, do a new promotion for GXK? Interesting. Um, behind the scenes looks so much fun. I wish the same thing happened on the 93 Mario, but behind the scenes was a living hell. Yeah. Some of these productions you don't want to see to make it. I find it funny how the Brontosaurus design in the Jackson remake was the most normal and mundane looking creature. Well, what's interesting, Dr. Coomer, is that, um, they based it on a very Harryhausen-esque design, uh, very much like One Million Years B.C.'s Brontosaur. That was sort of the idea that Jackson ha had in mind, was to base it on that particular creature, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, what other questions do we have here? Is there oh, new comment. Let's see. Um, who do you think is winning in a fight in 2005 deleted scene? Inglehorn or Denim? Inglehorn for sure. He's more fit to punch the shit out of Denim in the deleted scenes. So, yeah, that would be on his end. Uh, let's see here. A lot of people are still here. I saw the venture in Wellington. Oh, we already answered that. Stasaurus Rex was a biosyn sanctuary in Isla Sorna. What would the role ecosystem would have with Apex Predator of Skull Island? Um, we'll have to find out. <laughs> um, well, it's a proven fact that Lord of the Rings is and always will be one of the greatest franchises of all time. Yes, it is. And it always will be. Forever. For sure. Um... Let's see. It's impressive how well the CG for Jackson Remix holds up. Yeah, it still does. It really still does. What's your favorite Journey to the Center of the Earth film? Mine is the 1999 miniseries. I like the original, and I do kind of ironically like the Brendan Fraser film. Those are probably my personal favorites. Um, looked like Denim was winning in the fight because he was more aggressive and, and cheating in the fight, basically. Is from what I what I saw there. Let's see here. Um, now we're just waiting for this thing to come out. I'm just trying to catch up on some questions. I love the '76 remake, but it would have been cooler if Calm was given more to do on Skull Island instead of wrangling a boa and creepily staring at Juan. Yeah, like dinosaurs. I agree with a lot of people should have been a factor in that essentially. Um. God, there's a lot of people who are just like, on the, who are on the chat. Um, will there be a King Kong toys and merchandise review? That would be a whole series in of itself, so who knows in the future. Um, after I hit a hun episode 100, I'm going to figure out what the hell I'm going to be doing. Um, do we have any further questions, guys? Just uh, sh shoot, em shoot away. Uh, hey, Jack, are you seeing Godzilla X Kong? I will be. Yes, Cody. I gotta find a day to see it uh, next weekend. Would you see Peter Jackson doing a King Kong versus Frankenstein despite your thoughts on Son of Kong? Um, if it's a separate film in its own universe, uh, that's what I would want to see. Would you like to own the 76 Kong suit or the 98 Mighty Joe suit? 76, I would want the suit for, for sure. At least like an action figure of. That's what I would want. Um, basically. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people in the chat tonight. Interesting. Oh my god. Cliché being chased by a giant creature in a car ever since Jurassic Park. Yep. A lot of people were on here. Uh, Highlight Post Films, you made it to the very end here. Uh, we're just kind of getting this last minute bit here, which uh, we're actually going to start right now. Um, so we're just getting this last little clip in that I need, which is uh, from a deleted scene in the film. So I just have to get, um, let's see here. Um, there's a deleted scene here where Denim gets all paranoid about Englehorn. I literally says, like, calls him a stinking German. 
I was like, Jesus, Denim, are you that paranoid to get to Skull Island? Holy crap. Somewhere here. You can notice there's some stuff color timed and there's some stuff that wasn't in the final cut. I would love to see somebody actually take these deleted scenes and do a new cut of the movie that has, like, this stuff added. That would be something. Holy crap, hang on a sec. Wow, a lot of sirens just hit for a sec there. Holy smokes. Wow. Okay, then. All right, so it should be here. This part. This scene right here. They cut this out. Whoa! Well, again, this was 1933. It's not many people like Germans, let's be real about that. <laughs> so it is pretty historically accurate, but let me just turn this up to about right here. There we go. Right here. Yes, doesn't he? And corn's in on it. That stinking German. This is one of the reasons my opinion changed. Yeah, we... God, this guy really likes to play period piece fascist, doesn't he? And corn's in on it. That stinking German. Okay, so that's where I think we're going to call it a night. Um, we got about four or five minutes in, four and a half minutes, which isn't too bad for a stream, um, out of a two and a half hour stream. Uh, this was honestly fun to do. I want to get back into these, especially since this episode is going to be slightly delayed, to at least give you guys a bit of a post-production, uh, bit on us, uh, doing our, uh, these episodes. So I really appreciate everybody coming into the stream tonight. Uh, you know, for two and a half hours, we did pretty damn good. Uh, actually, more than that, almost three hours. So um, this was fun. Uh, don't know if we're going to come back in uh, tomorrow for it. We might game tomorrow, but we're going to come back to editing uh, probably on Thursday. We're going to try to do more streams this week just to keep you guys entertained. But really appreciate everybody coming in. Of course, uh, support our Patreon. Dollar more, we'll get to early access to all of our content, as well as our special features. Um, there's tiers there as well. Thank you all so much for the super chats, for everybody involved, um, uh, from Anthony to Gerard, uh, G Gerald to Anthony again. Y'all really helped contribute tonight's uh, uh, to the show with tonight's uh, super chats. Really goes a long way. Um, when is the next Kong video? Uh, that's what we were editing, essentially. Once I get it in the can, I'll do a trailer, and then I'll let you guys know when it's coming out. But, yeah. That uh, is what we've been working on today. Uh, we've got uh, we got four minutes out of 24, which isn't too bad. Actually, pretty good for a day's worth. But um, really appreciate everybody coming in today. Uh, had a lot of fun uh, working on this. And I will catch you guys up on the next uh, stream. So until the next video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film standing off saying take it easy. I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow for another gaming stream. We're going to continue the Peter Jackson game. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.